Janet. Yes, sir. Hadad. Hadaji. Hadaji. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. Are you are from Morocco. Yes. And you are um, a female manager. Yes. How did you become a uh, you know music manager? Okay, I'm the few I'm one of the few women who work in uh, in music management in uh, Morocco. Okay. I uh, did studies in communication mm. in, pa in publicity. Okay. I had a few uh, artist friends. The beginning of uh, the the music industry, like seven or eight years ago. Okay. And I I saw that there is uh, something missing in the process of doing music. Okay. With the manager, there there's talent, there's market but they need someone to push them okay. so I said okay let's take risk I came from family with uh, doctors engineers oh. so I said okay let's take risk let's do music management yeah. so yeah and the adventure began to be what was it a risk you yeah, becoming uh, a manager yeah because at the beginning there was not really a real market okay and uh, you know to be a music manager mm. It's not. It was not it, for for people from inside. It's not okay. How you gonna earn your living? Okay. So I take a risk, but it was a really good risk. Okay. Yeah. Do you uh, do, do you manage uh, only female artists, or you also manage? No, uh, male I manage only one female artist, but the others are uh, male artists. Hmm. How, yeah. how, how how is the relationship? Um. How the relationship? Listen, to be a manager, you need a to be a female manager. No, a manager. <laughs> a manager. A manager. I don't judge myself about okay. all because my gender. Okay. I, uh, okay. nice. This is my uh, number I, one. I don't judge me because I'm female. <laughs> judge me about my work. To be a manager, you need to to work on the professional and the the personal way because okay. it's it's like a man. Mm. You need to to take care of your artist to 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 make him. Uh, uh, Create more, mm. so uh, you need to be respect. It's really important between okay. an artist and okay. manager. But the number one, uh, the number one thing is royalty and uh, confidence. Okay. So uh, I think I said I have a divine animal right okay. to devour and protect my artist. Okay. So uh, I'm 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 the bad cop sometimes, mm. but it's part of my job. And uh, you know when you are in the backstage and you see your artist with a huge crowd and everyone is singing a project that sh you manage, you work yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. It's like having a baby, proud, yeah, yeah uh, <laughs> working uh, in front of you. Yeah, but, no, I really li like what I do. Okay, mm. so who do you cut? I manage a lot, but like my really big success story is DJ Vine. Okay. He's a DJ producer mm. named by the press as Morocco Hitmaker, mm. we're now in the MENA region. Okay. And with at, managing DJ Van, I had the opportunity to work in, uh, with several artists from uh, all over the world. Okay. Uh, really huge project, Inti with Sad Mujarad, mm. 2013. Uh, uh, so working with the managing producer mm. uh, give me uh, opportunity to explore different uh, artists okay. so when we work for example with an artist and featuring like a production of dj mm. Van, mm. i manage the project so okay. uh, so yeah i think i worked with uh, 99 percent of the, the artists in the the, the, the moroccan mar market mine i direct manager because okay. i'm i have seven years experience uh, okay. on this uh, okay. on this Side or as a project manager for the collaboration with DJ Van. Okay. DJ Van is my artist, my big brother, okay. and uh, so yeah, with him it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, different. Okay. So I'm here in Lagos uh, because of him. He is nominated, right? Yeah, he's nominated the best male artist not in Africa okay. and producer of the year. It's first time a North African artist being be nominated and producer of the year. Okay. Yeah. How, how big is music in North Africa? You know, uh, last year when I came to uh, to Africa, it was our first time here. Um, I saw that the Morocco, the North African market, it's a little bit different than uh, than uh, West or the East or yeah. South. Yeah. 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 Uh, we are more connected to the Arabic. Uh, kind of songs okay. for the business way it's more like Europe mm. uh, because of the distance okay. but it's uh, a market 
all in the past three or four years mm. is starting to, to get bigger and bigger. Okay. Uh, so in, now, for example, in the, Ar the Arabic world, the, the tennis, if you want to, to have a hit, you need to, to, to do Moroccan song. Okay. When I say Moroccan song in the region, okay. the, the Arabic of Morocco, mm. and uh, with the uh, rhythm, uh, music, uh, some rhythms from Morocco. Okay. So yeah, we are uh, running the world <laughs> right now, it's good. And why do you think it's the reason that North Africa mm -hmm. is not well connected to the rest of Africa, Western in music. Actually, I'm I'm still looking for the answer. I okay. don't know why. When we came last year, mm -hmm. uh, I, we had the perception that for for the rest of Africa, we're not Africans. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Maybe because of the language, because we speak Arabic and French. Okay. Uh, but there is some 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 artists who came. To like B-Square from Nigeria, yeah. can tell you a really funny story about B-Square. Okay. So B-Square, they released a song, I don't want to pronounce it wrong, Shikini. Sh Shikini. Shikini. Yeah. So Shikini, uh, they released it, and some uh, group from Morocco who do pa parody songs. Okay. Because Shikini, in, uh, in, uh, if in, in you listen to it, and yeah. you want to, 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 to say it in, in the region, yeah. it's touch my nose. Touch my nose. Touch my nose. <laughs> so they, they, they redo the whole song as a, in, as a parody in the region. Okay. And they hit more views in YouTube than the official oh. video clip of B Square. <laughs> so. Every Moroccan radio was playing B Square, and uh, they got booked at uh, invited by Ma by Mawazin. Okay. Mawazin is the first, the biggest uh, music festival in uh, in Africa, the third worldwide. Okay. So when they came, mm. it was I think for them like new, uh, new, new adventure, yeah. like first time world, uh, North Africa, and for the Moroccan public is the first time they. Experienced they, they, they do the experience of African music. Yeah. So, from from I think it was in 2014, mm. people like w were looking to see. Okay, let's see, like the public, uh, we want to listen to uh, to uh, to ar some artists from the south. Yes. And even uh, you know when we do conference back in Morocco uh, with the, the professional of the the music industry. We are now aware we need to work on the South-South collaboration. Mm. We did what we did with, with Europe, with Middle East. Now we want to go down because uh, it's mm. our, uh, it's Africa. We it's are Africa. African. One yeah. Africa. One Africa. Yes. And it's the content of the future. Yes. So uh, yeah, we started last year actually with DJ Van after, uh, after we came to, to, to Af Afrima. Mm. We did a song okay. for African women. Okay. It's called Woman. Production 100% Moroccan. The voice was Ivory Coast artist mm. based uh, in Morocco. Okay. So uh, it was our first experience, yeah. and Van was nominated for this song for Best Male Artist North in Africa. Yeah. And we hope by next year we we will uh, bring artists to Morocco, mm. uh, West or Eastern or even South African artists to Morocco, okay. and for us to 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 bring because our music is a little bit different than uh, the, the rest of African music to bring in here and okay. uh, to celebrate Africa. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, you are from Morocco, and yeah. um, recently your your king. It's yeah, Moroccan king yeah, it was in Tanzania, was in Tanzania yeah, and nice they, they signed like more than 30 uh, contracts, yeah. agreements in the business, yes. in agriculture and, yeah. and, and sort of. What do you think? Uh, do you, uh, because I have seen you uh, speaking with Salam, Dama's yeah. manager, yeah. do you think you can also utilize that connection to Morocco Of course, you know, of course. Morocco, you know, when Tanzania. I met this morning Salam, mm. and I, he said, okay, Tanzania, I said, listen, I don't need a visa. Explaining like a lot of my entourage, when we saw the news about uh, free uh, visa for uh, Moroccans, yes. when we look on the internet for uh, Tanzania, it's really beautiful country. And we said, okay, this year we have the, our summer destination. <laughs> yeah, uh, we are really thankful for His Majesty. He's okay. working a lot on uh, the, the connection with other African countries. And I think it's our duty also mm. to, to 
you know, art in music and culture in general is uh, uh, get the people together. Okay. So yeah, if we can do something with diamonds, yeah. we are definitely uh, opening uh, a connection uh, between Tanzania and Morocco. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna open doors for. Uh, for people from your country to my people yes. in uh, the same way. Yes. Last word to the whole continent music in music. Uh, I think we have uh, the best music in in the world actually. It's so different, it's really rich. Yes. And it changed from a country to another and yeah. sometimes in the same country it changed. Yes. We have the uh, the power to dominate the world. Mm. We just need to keep it united. Okay. So uh, I hope in the fi in next five years or ten years to uh, I hope to see African music in general in uh, the top of the world. Okay. Like uh, we can beat USA. I, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah.